Mega March is once again teaming up with Hobby Link Japan to bring you a deal. Use coupon code MEGAMARCH24 at checkout to save 5% on any in-stock items. The code is valid all through March, so be sure to use it while you can. Affiliate link is in the description, and thanks again to Hobby Link Japan for supporting the channel. Let's jack into Mega March! Yeah, baby! Hello everyone, and welcome back to Mega March. My name is Coleman X, and for the first time I am joined by a brand new guest. You may know him as the voice of Magma Dragoon and Dr. Light from our Mega Editorial series. And would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, I would. Thank you, Coleman. My name is Richie. I go, I go by Rex Diamond online, and you can find me on RXD Voices. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, no problem. It's I, I'm really excited for this, too. It, like, I thought you would be the perfect person to have on because you are currently doing a Mega Man Battle Network project. You know, might as well give it a little push if you want to talk about it a little bit before we get started. Yeah, so I got a bunch of voice actors together, and not just voice actors, but other people like yourself, uh, mm -hmm. together <laughs> to voice characters within the Mega Man Battle Network 5 universe. Because when it comes to Mega Man, Battle Network is sort of my... Well, it, you know, it's just my favorite. <laughs> it, it's 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 seeming like a really cool project mm -hmm. so far. Um, we're gonna we're gonna peel back the layers a little bit, but we're recording this a little bit early, and um, I've seen some of the stuff that's uh, that's just starting to come out, and it's really cool. I like it so far. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's 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 a big project because I, I partly did it because I wanted to keep myself active within um, voice acting, and also to. When the collection came out, which for those who don't know, Battle Network 6 was actually played at EVO this year. Everybody was surprised when that happened. But <laughs> I wanted to keep myself active with voice acting. And then I also wanted to get a lot of people that I've met over the years uh, within the voice acting community online involved, as well as my own local friends. And everybody just jumped on it. It's, it's a really cool project. It's very ambitious and... From the bottom of my heart, I wish you the best of luck getting it finished. Appreciate it very much. But um, let's not waste any more time and let's charge into this one. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, because today we're talking about Charge Man compared to Charge Man EXE. Um, as, as usual with this, if you're familiar with last year's Mega March, I've not seen this design before, so... Oh boy, we're going from... From Thomas to Doom Train for Final <laughs> Fantasy VIII, definitely. And man, what a what a unique design! This is a this is a really fun one that I just based on the name alone and what I know about Charge Man Vanilla, I probably wouldn't have picked this. So good choice. <laughs> what what are some things that you like about this? Because I got a lot to say. So Charge Man. I Interestingly enough, when you had asked me to do this, I had been under the impression since I was a child that there was no alternative version of Charge Man. He really was just that mm. unique. There was only mm. Charge Man EXE. And the reason why I picked him, so I made sure before I got here, I was like, you know, let's just check. Maybe I'm wrong. I was completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay, that's a good thing I checked that. And then I saw his design and I was like, oh, okay. And then looking at it, I was like, wait a second. When they made, because Char Charge Man's a, a crossover, which is like a double soul for Battle Network 6. And you would think just by looking at him, it's like he's a moving train who doesn't even have legs for crying out loud. And mm -hmm. you would think, eh, that's not too good. But in fact, it's actually very good because Charge Cross looks, which is the form Mega Man gets to take in Battle Network 6, looks very similar to the, the original version and functions the exact, almost very similarly being able to actually charge down uh, the field with with invulnerability frames. Man, that is cool. Like, I, I love that it's taking stuff from a, just a different genre, mm -hmm. and it's it's incorporating the same elements and stuff. That's just so cool. Yeah, it is. It's, what, um, which, which game is he from? Is uh, Charge Man from? The original Charge Man, I believe, is from... Is no, no, uh, sorry, um, uh, EXE. EXE. EXE is from uh, Battle Network 6. Oh, he's from 6. Okay, mm -hmm. so he's all the way at the end. Yeah, which is my favorite game, which is also why I 
chose this because I was like, I bet you I choose this and I'm going to be asked, why did you choose this? It's a very unique design. <laughs> it is. Like, I, I, lo I love the little goofy skull. Um, it's uh, not quite the caboose, but it's pretty close. Right. It, it's it, it, it's it's funny it, it adds character mm -hmm. like because he's he's a very intimidating design right but but it's also got that little goofy factor because <laughs> it's it's a giant choo-choo train and it i think it, i think it melds that perfectly it's... of being you, you know because like like you can't you can't just have something too hardcore you know for like just a just a guy you know right. like like you, you need you need to balance it out and i think i think this this does it wonderfully i love this design yeah, it's it's interesting how it works in the game because he's a he's a choo choo train running around doing his <laughs> jobs. Oh, I have a job to do. I have a nine to five job. So what's your nine to five job? I go drop off programs at different stations. I'm like, <laughs> wow, okay, uh, yeah. And uh, and you and the real question really became, how does he move on the field? He moves pretty well, um, usually in a straight line for an attack, but. For the most part, you can move panel to panel, and it's like, oh, okay, so this is how Charge Man works, and it just—it it is a really unique design and a fun one too. Mhm. Mm I, I I like how he's got just these little gripper claws. Uh huh. Like it, it make it makes him look more industrial, and like you know, meanwhile we look at Charge Man Classic, he's just a toy train on top of a dude. Yeah. And like <laughs> like it, it's it's a funny design. Like it's from Mega Man Five. I love Mega Man Five, but it's silly. In, in in a fun way like this is it's nine parts silly one part cool because he, he still kind of looks intimidate just his face you know right. he's just like he's a he's a little bit angry he's a he's kind of stanced up mm -hmm. but he he also like like does the does the you know the thing where you make your arms go around like like a, like when you're pretending to be a train yep yeah yeah he he does that before he charges and i it's just it's just funny he's the he's the exact opposite of this and i i really like that they went so far in the other direction mm -hmm. definitely it's um the other thing is for charge man exe because for attacks obviously there's charging which is like a multi-hit attack but at the same time the little chimney on top of him spits out <laughs> fireballs that land on the field in random areas. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. That that's what um, uh, classic Charge Man does as well. Yep. He, he has a he has a toot attack and it just drops things down. So okay, I I really like that they carried that over. Yeah, it's 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 a very interesting design. And the gameplay. So you got the gameplay, which is fun with it. Um, and because I believe Charge Man, the original Charge Man in, in five. He literally charges you with complete invincibility, and mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. called charge kick. And I'm like, okay, uh, just charges right down the lane and attacks Mega Man, and then after that, turns around to reboot and goes from there. Mm -hmm. It's man, who would have thought you could get so much mileage from Train <laughs> Boss? You know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. And and in the so to really see this, which is why because. One of the main functions of Charge Man EXE uh, uh, crossover is the fact that you need this to... It's the easy way to defeat base. Really? Yeah, because um, when you take him, at least when you take him on in his first two forms, um, it's, it, it makes it easy because you can run down the lane without getting hit, without getting touched, and as long as you're not uh, holding the way, you're fine. Uh -huh. And okay. as long as you're timing it pro properly. When you go to his final form, and I tried it before. I'm like, why is this not working? Because it's supposed to be cheese. Mm -hmm. It just not, it just doesn't work on the final form. And I'm like, oh no, I gotta do something. Uh, I gotta actually try. <laughs> if they knew. Mm -hmm. Definitely. But yeah, it's, it's I like Charge Man a lot, and I figure I was like, this would be a good one to cover because of like who expects Charge Man to show up as a literal train who works right. in the internet? The like it, it's. It, it just it screams doom train to me like mm -hmm. i said it at the opening and i i always loved that design and just that concept of you know it's like a monster but it's also a train it's like oh that's kind of silly but mm -hmm. it's really cool and then seeing this it's it's really kind of bringing me back to first discovering that design you know so many years ago so i i, I really i really dig this it's mm -hmm. it's very it's very silly but very cool yeah, and very effective too. Which it's that's what a lot of us asked 
was like, oh, you're going to bring Charge Man in? He's going to be a crossover? Because we knew from the beginning. And it's mm-hmm. like, it's like we already have a Fire-type crossover in Flame Man um, for about an hour six. Who, who do we need Charge? And then you find you find out, oh, this is the last unlockable for a reason, because it's really good. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. That's that's so cool. I, I'm, I'm glad it wasn't made today because he would be <laughs> the he, he would be behind the like the gotcha system of whatever he's involved in and he that's would, true he, he would he would be shaped like a credit card and he'd be charge <laughs> man <laughs> so what, what charge, it's like charge man it's like how do you work just slide me at a scanner and then they get, get charged <laughs> don't worry i've got tap it's fine <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that'd be a good one <laughs> I'd just be rolling at that point. It's it's almost like that kind of from Yu Gi Oh. It's like I it's like I got these rare cards, these rare cards, and yeah, well, I got the credit card. I got the credit card. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, yes. that's pretty much charge for you. Yeah, I don't have too much else to say about him besides that he's just he just looks cool, and I'm I'm glad that they got so creative with an arguably extremely silly design. Yeah, yeah I agree definitely. All right, so I guess that's gonna that's gonna close up the book on Charge Man. So I hope you enjoyed, um, Rex. Thank you for being here. Yeah, no problem. So thanks for having me. Yeah, and uh, everyone, be sure to check out the um, the Battle Network Five project. It will be linked below, and keep tuning in to Mega March. I guess we'll see you tomorrow. All right, bye everybody. Take it easy.